Great question. Let's talk about it. Motor learning really tells us that we need to focus on the whole task at hand rather than breaking it down into teeny tiny little individual pieces. So when I'm thinking about chewing, if I've got a child who is having trouble advancing to rotary mastication, to doing a lot of lingual lateralization in order to sufficiently, effectively, safely masticate foods, one of the first things I think about is what have their experiences and opportunities been so far? If a child has only eaten purees, super soft salads, teeny tiny little pieces of food, they haven't had enough opportunities to advance their chewing patterns. In a child who's super orally aversive, I'm also not very worried about what their chewing pattern looks like until we get to the point that they've expanded their diet in a way where they now require more skills. Developmentally, what should happen is that as a child is provided more opportunities to practice bigger bolus sizes, more resistive foods, lateral placement of boluses, they should begin to develop those more advanced skills. In turn, a lot of those other things become even easier for them. But until they're given the opportunity to do so, we can't expect their skills to advance. Using things like non-specific oral motor exercises like blowing a horn, chewing on a chewy, blowing bubbles, those things are not going to transfer to the motor skill of advancing rotary mastication. A lot of the times it's not just the issue of strength. We also have to think about the coordination, the endurance that is involved in the entire sensory motor task. Don't worry about the very specific lingual lateralization. Don't worry so much about like, is the rotary mastication happening? Worry about the foods that they are currently eating and if they're doing so safely and effectively. And if they are, begin to advance the size, the texture, the resistance level of those foods so that you can develop and advance their skills further. These are what the principles of motor learning and neuroplasticity tells us. Check out the caption for more.